know what that music means. It's time to talk politics. Donald Trump refusing to back down on his attacks on Heidi Cruz during a tense radio interview with a conservative Wisconsin radio host a week ahead of the primary there. Could Trump's latest line of attack make him his, his own worst enemy? Well, let's check in now with Katrina Pearson, the national spokesperson for the Trump campaign. Good morning, Katrina. Thanks for joining us on New Day. Good morning, Don. I want to start with Thank that you. interview, that interview that Donald Trump did yesterday with Charlie Sykes. You know Charlie Sykes. He's really the conservative radio host <laughs> in Wisconsin. Um, Sykes surprised your candidate, Trump, by saying that he was part of the hashtag Never Trump campaign. Listen to this. Mr. Uh, Mr. Trump, before you called into my show, did you know that I'm a hashtag Never Trump guy? Uh, that I didn't know. Okay, no. well, because I, I, was, I thought it was interesting, and people were wondering, does, does Donald Trump know what Charlie Sykes has said about him in the past? No, and no, I would give I you credit either I way on it, but I, but I was wondering. No, no I, I yeah. understand. Katrina, did your campaign know what Donald Trump was getting into? Shouldn't he have been prepared, armed with that knowledge? Well, I think what you're seeing is the fact that Donald Trump doesn't really care. Look at look at this. We have seen Mr. Trump go in very hostile territory. We have seen Mr. Trump go into interviews knowing that anchors have said horrible things about him in the past, and he's been unafraid to do these interviews. This is a radio show in Wisconsin. He did do the interview, and he defended himself. So you don't think that he should have known? It would not have helped? He might, possibly, he may not have done the interview had he known. No, and I think he would. I mean, that's my point. Uh, Donald Trump is not afraid to do interviews. He's the only candidate that is willing to go into hostile territory. But I think the bigger question here is is this this somehow this uh, this attack on Ted Cruz's wife narrative that somehow sprouted last week and it's unfortunate that I was unable to come on to discuss that uh, because the fact of the matter here, Don, is there's only been one wife attacked this cycle and that is Melania Trump. Last year, Glenn Beck, Ted Cruz's top surrogate, was trashing Melania Trump and no one said anything. Earlier this month on another network, there was another woman supportive of Ted Cruz who maligned Melania Trump's character. This was before the attack ad by the pro Ted Cruz. So pack. why then so why would why then would Donald Trump need you to defend if Donald Trump can't defend himself against against uh, the likes of Glenn Beck and, and other folks? Why would he need why would why would Melania Trump need you to defend her? But that's the point here. Mr. Trump is defending his wife. There is no such thing as an attack on Heidi Cruz. I have yet to hear the attack on Heidi Cruz. You, did, you didn't Trump see the said, hang on. You didn't see the retweet. You didn't see the retweet that Donald Trump did. You don't think that no. that, in a, no, that, that is not an that's, attack. No, that's not an attack on a woman attack. by using an unflattering that is not picture an of a attack. wife. No. Then what would you call that, that then? And don't say hang on, hang on, Katrina. Hold on, Katrina. Don't say that that's supporting his wife because you don't need Heidi Cruz in that picture to support his wife. Well, of course not. Mr. Trump didn't make the picture. He retweeted a tweet because he believes that his wife is beautiful just the way that she is. And since when did it become okay to attack a woman? What is the policy here? Is it okay to attack a woman, malign her character, impugn her dignity just because she's beautiful? That's Mr. the same. Trump I can be asked. I can ask you the same question time. about Heidi Cruz. Is it okay to malign Heidi Cruz, who is a beautiful woman, to attack her and, and put up a horrible no picture? No one has maligned Heidi Cruz. No one has attacked Heidi Cruz. Melania Trump has been attacked. Where has that headline been on CNN? I bet CNN. And viewers didn't even know Melania Trump had been attacked for months by pro Ted Cruz people. That's the problem here. We have been talking about that for, for months, Katrina. I think you're being very disingenuous about this. And let's get back to this. It's this not right. disingenuous. It is, because it is the disingenuous because we have been talking been about it. We've Heidi done Cruz. interviews. We've, but you've been talking on, about it, but in the Katrina, wrong context. Let me, we have been talking about it. We've, been, we've interviewed Melania Trump. Anderson Cooper did a, a very extensive interview with Melania Trump where he talked about all of those issues. We report on every single scandal, every single tweet, every single thing that happens, not only with Melania Trump, but also with Heidi Cruz and any of the other candidates. So you're being very disingenuous by saying that we're not covering it or that we should be covering in the context that no, you, you want us to cover. No, you are covering it. You're, no, you're covering it. It's just in the wrong context. It's in the context, that, it's in the context that you want us to cover. That doesn't mean that it's a wrong contest text it's, it's but let's fact. get back I mean, to facts, let's on. get facts are facts but let's let's move in let's move on and talk about uh the other thing in, in this interview where uh the host um asked that maybe mr trump should apologize or maybe he should keep wives off the table let's listen to this 
I expect that from a 12-year-old bully on the playground, not somebody well, who I wants the office held by Abraham I, Lincoln. Again, I didn't start it. He started it. Do you ever apologize? Because you know yeah, what? I Most did. real men, when they screw up, they'll go, you know what? No, I, I was a hothead. I shouldn't have done that. I do apologize. I believe in apologizing. But I think he's I, – I think before I would think about apologizing, I, he owes me an apology. Okay, so let's just say, you know, for the sake of it, Ted Cruz said uh, that it was a super PAC, uh, that it wasn't him. Let's just say that Ted Cruz did start mm -hmm. it. Start it. Is it an excuse beyond second or third grade to say that, well, he did it first, well, they did it first. Is that really an excuse, Katrina? Well, I think it, it's supportive of what he has always said, particularly with super PACs, that he was going to hold the campaigns accountable for the attacks on their behalf. And this was on the behalf of Ted Cruz, and he is a counter-puncher. This is nothing new. Donald Trump did not start this, but he will respond. And to expect a man to not defend his wife in this case, I think, is, is pretty insane. And the fact that he continues to support his wife and defend her in light of these attacks when the media is making someone else the victim, uh, no, he shouldn't apologize until Ted Cruz does, because even a Fox yeah. News anchor, when Melania was being tacked uh, on his show, said this is a very slippery slope to start going after spouses. Yeah. And that's when Donald Trump issued the warning. Yeah. Katrina Pearson, thank you very much. I appreciate that. I think it's a very good spin Thanks, uh, that you've put on it, but not necessarily <laughs> the truth.